Well, the State Department of Ag, Trade, and Consumer Protection has received about 350 applications to either grow or process industrial hemp. The, uh, the Department of Justice has issued some advisory guidelines, and uh, Attorney General Brad Schimmel, thanks mm -hmm. for coming in Thank to you. talk about that. Um, I'm going to, uh, I don't know this issue. All I know is that when I talk to DATCAP, they've received X number of mm -hmm. apps to process and grow. And this is a highly regulated industry. Right. And what is your agency now advising, sir? Well, our advisory really dealt with CBD oil. Oil. Is that and a product we, of industrial hemp? It can be. Excuse me. We, um, we had received many questions from retailers and from law enforcement and prosecutors as to what to do about where CBD oil is being sold and how, how it can be controlled in terms of what the actual content is. And there are limits. The Wisconsin legislature passed a law that permits a person to possess CBD oil with a, an mm. authorization a from their doctor. A medical need. Yes. yes. With an authorization from their doctor. And so, therefore, it's, it's legal to possess it. You can buy it in a pharmacy. The advisory that we put out advised that you, that is not legal to be sold in a convenience store or, uh, or a supermarket or other places. And there are, there are some consumer health and protection issues involved in, not in, in just anything being sold. We have to have some, some restrictions on what it is. And the law doesn't provide that you can have CBD oil that gets a person in, intoxicated or impaired. When the legislature and the governor passed and signed into law the industrial hemp bill, do we need to fix that to address this issue? We probably do because the legislature did not authorize the manufacture of CBD oil in Wisconsin. In, they in authorize you to grow industrial hemp if you get the DAC cap approval and all the permitting. Mm -hmm. There are some other problems too with the DEA's involvement because they have a say in all of this as well. But they can work that stuff out. The problem is, is there is a gap in the law that there is not, a, there is not any authorization to manufacture CBD oil in Wisconsin. Well, then given that and your legal advisory, the 350 entities, individuals, or organizations that have applied, should they put all their growing and processing plans on hold until this is resolved? Are they at legal well, risk, General? Well, that's a, making CBD oil is not the only reason for growing industrial hemp. It's called industrial hemp because it's used for manufacturing ropes and fabrics. And um, yes, um, for instance, um, slings that are used for industrial cranes and things can be made very made very effective and strong by using hemp. So that's why, that's actually how this was mainly pitched was we want to be able to compete in that market and grow the, grow the hemp here rather than importing it from Canada. So the Wisconsin legislature authorized that. Mm -hmm. I don't, they don't address at all in that industrial hemp statute the manufacture of CBD oil. Now this, the, that farmer could grow the hemp and sell it to someone else outside the state of Wisconsin that processes CBD oil that ends up being for sale in a pharmacy here, that's all legal, but the manufacturing process is not. But again, our advisory that went out really dealt with the sale of CBD oil and where that was permitted and what was legal and what was not. Do you think there shouldn't be an industrial hemp crop in 2018 because of these legal issues, sir? Should no, we I, wait I, until don't, I don't think that at all. You I, don't. I think that Farmers should go forward with this process, work with DATCAP to get the necessary approvals and, and, and find, and if there's a market for the, for the uh, product when it's grown, then go to market. So if, if I'm one of those that have applied to process or grow, you don't feel I have any legal risk with DOJ? No, this if you've got the DATCAP approval to grow the hemp, okay. that's not an issue. Wisconsin law provides for that now. And then maybe the final question, what should the next legislative session do to clean up this law, sir? Well, they should address whether you, whether you could legally manufacture the CBD oil in Wisconsin. That seems to be the gap in the law. And we're not creating law or even interpreting it. This is just what the plain language of the statute says. Um, honestly, okay, this is my last question. A, a few years ago, they tried to uh, pass CBD oil for um, those with seizures and others. Mm -hmm. That law they had to redo did they get the medical CBD oil law right this time, sir? Well, it's, it's unusual because it doesn't require a prescription. It requires a doctor's authorization um, or a statement of medical necessity. 
it's unusual, that, that could run into some conflicts with federal law. But that's not something we're concerned about at DOJ enforcing. Uh, the legislature made this authorization. We'll, we'll work within the system to, to make it work as best it can. We just need to make sure that there are some standards, that this isn't being sold at the, at the corner gas station, that we have some idea what's in the CBD oil, because uh, we have gotten complaints that there are people who have, uh, who have found that it's, they've, ta they've purchased it for use on their children who have seizures, mm -hmm. and their children are getting impaired because of it, because it doesn't have the THC removed. It's expensive to remove all the THC from CBD oil, so some, some of the fly-by market, fly-by-night uh, manufacturers of it are, are not doing the process well. Um, also, you want to make sure that there aren't fertilizers that haven't been removed from that, or heavy metals that might have been in the soil where it was grown. These are all important things for consumer safety as well. The agency, DOJ, is already hearing about some medical complications. We've had um, our law enforcement partners have shared with us that there are that there have been cases out there where people are convinced that this does contain the active ingredient or the impairing ingredient. Let's go back to your legal advisory on industrial hemp. There was a Farm Bureau statement saying that it hurts the goals of all the potential hemp farmers and growers in Wisconsin that you've thrown their plans. Uh, you've upset them, overturned them. This is, I, I is that don't a bad write, rap? I don't write the laws and I don't even interpret them. We simply ident we we enforce them the way they're written, and this is this is what was written. the The industrial hemp law does not address the ability of anyone to manufacture CBD oil. Um, there are other uses for that hemp. They can go ahead and grow it and send it to market for that. They can they. I don't think there's anything illegal about growing it in Wisconsin and sending it to someone who can manufacture CBD oil in a legal manner. And. Perhaps the legislature needs to take it up again. Attorney General Brad Schimmel, thank thanks you very much. Thank you.